Hi guys, I hope that you are enjoying the class so far. I thought I would take a minute just to make this video so that I could show you how easy it is um, to use your Orange Blossom face wash. And a lot of people um, get their bottle of Orange Blossom face wash, that's it right here, and they use a foamer um, soap dispenser, um, either a small like travel size one like this, or even some of the bigger ones like you would find to use um, for your soap. And they uh, make their own foaming face wash with the Orange Blossom um, face wash. And that's a great way for you to use it and still get the benefits of it, but at the same time kind of making your dollar stretch a little bit. Um, a lot of people that I have um, read who use it that way actually are able to make it last quite a long time. So um, just so that you can see how easy it is, I'm gonna do that for you now. So I have these um, little travel size um, foamer soap containers and I'm not a measure girl, I just kinda guess as I go. So um, I'm just gonna pour this in here and just kinda show you how much it is that I'm putting in. Um, I'm probably gonna fill it that's probably good. I don't know if you can see how well that is. It's just just a little bit up, um, kind of not even the full like width of my fingernail, but probably or finger probably like half the width of my pinky finger, if that makes sense. And um, then the rest of it's really easy. You just add distilled water to it and go. Um, this is distilled water in a little container that um, is easier to pour because I don't trust myself with this guy right here, but you can see that's distilled water. Um, I'm clumsy enough that I would end up putting that all over the place and I'd have to reshoot the video. Um, so I'm just going to add the distilled water and you need to make sure that you leave enough room for the displacement of this little foamer part right there. It actually takes up a lot more room than you think it would. Um, so if you fill it up too far, then it'll spill everywhere and you kind of waste your stuff. But you screw on the lid and just kind of give it a couple of good shakes back and forth. Not too much. You don't want to cause a bunch of soap to foam, but just enough that you can see that it's uh, mixed into the water and you're all set. Um, you could slap a label on that so you know what it is or put it in a special place so you always know what it is. And then you can easily refill it with your face wash the next time you need it. So I hope that that helps. Um, we'll continue to post various different um, tips and tricks and that kind of thing throughout the class. Um, but um, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how easy it is to kind of make your product stretch that way.